Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Today, let's talk about how to create retirement buckets for generating inflation protected income. I'm writing this article after a comment uh, by uh, Mr. Anil Rai. That uh, comment was to this video How much do I need to retire by 45 in India? I had done a uh, retirement uh, planning exercise for a person who wants to retire at 45 and uh, Anil basically says that uh, uh, I understand uh, the logic behind creating four buckets I'll explain that in the uh, later on uh, but I want to know what kind of uh, financial instruments I should use in each bucket so we'll be talking about that so first of all what is the retirement bucket strategy now for our parents or our grandparents, uh, uh, a retirement bucket was basically most of it was pension and then some amount was put in uh, fixed deposits, post office scheme, senior citizen savings scheme, um, recently the Vaya Vandana Yojana and so on. So that is the kind of, uh, that's the typical kind of retirement uh, uh, bucket strategy that our parents or grandparents had. Now the primary aim of this strategy was to get constant income constant income and also little bit of uh, appreciation because of the uh, interest rates and so on but and it had some liquidity to handle uh, emergencies and so on now what we want to do is to uh, to fight inflation that is we should have an income but that income uh, should also increase every year or whenever we want to actually fight uh, uh, in increase in expenses uh, because of inflation, because of unexpected expenses, whatever. So for us, a bucket strategy will have, uh, again it will have pension, there's nothing wrong with that. Then it will have income generating investments. Uh, then there will be uh, some investments for capital appreciation. That is, so you will have a three tier structure. One, you will have constant income. Then you will have uh, some uh, investments in low risk where it will, uh, where there will be a uh, small capital appreciation uh, where you can but you can withdraw it and get uh, you know uh, to uh, immediate increase in income and uh, uh, those that you take on risk and uh, which which uh, which can have capital appreciation over the longer term but you don't want to uh, remove it in the middle unless you really have a uh, need to so that's the basic idea of a bucket strategy now the main thing is that People uh, don't think about bucket strategies uh, when they are young and this is wrong. Uh, you should start thinking about trying to beat inflation using different investment buckets right from the day you are starting uh, to uh, uh, invest for retirement. That is even if your retirement is 20, 30 years away, you should have that mindset and that's very important. Now also uh, we must uh, remember that a good amount of the corpus should be liquid that is it should be freely redeemable and uh, if you are going to build a bucket strategy uh, if the stock market crashes in the second year of your retirement or third year of your retirement or there are uh, there's a very long sideways market for years and years uh, then there will be a very big risk in your corpus the corpus will deplete too, too fast so which means that you may run out of money and you lose your financial independence uh, a few years later uh, after retirement. So how are you able to combat this risk? This is the key point. So uh, uh, the robo advisory template that I have is basically uh, it's centered around this, this core idea, how to combat this kind of sequence of returns risk. And also my course, uh, the Facebook uh, course on goal based portfolio management. Now, the, uh, uh, if the interest rate decreases, what will happen to your income? If the interest rate increases, can you capitalize on that? Now, can you ex handle unexpected expenses? How tax efficient are, are the investments that you make? Who will manage the bucket? Suppose if you are not in a position to do it, can somebody step in for you? Or are you going to let it to a professional to manage this retirement buckets? Now, what is our experience? That is very important with the bond market and stock market before we charge. Uh, start investing in products. So, somebody who has never invested in mutual funds when they were employed, if they are suddenly going to start investing in mutual funds after retirement, they are going to find it very tough to understand and appreciate the volatility. And also our own understanding of different products. Uh, many people have uh, very wrong uh, conceptions about uh, many products in the debt, uh, debt funds or even equity funds. Uh, so that kind of misconception should not be there. So our level of understanding of risk is most crucial. So uh, I have already made, uh, I have written two articles uh, 
uh, I would suggest that you go have a look at it. I'm 30 and want to retire by 50. How should I plan my investments? And also this video, how much do I need to retire by 45? Please go look at those videos if you want a full fledged retirement planning illustration. I've also done other videos in the past as well. So the thumb rule that I use in the robo advisory is that the retiree should have enough money to generate inflation protected income in the first 15 years of retirement. And uh, uh, after that, there should be enough corpus to invest for the uh, uh, during those 15 years period and then take that money out and use it for income beyond 15 years. So suppose I have there's a retiree who is who has got 45 years in retirement. So this is a slightly early retiree, let's say 45 a person wants to retire. Then uh, this is an example. The percentages are just examples. It will uh, depend on the inputs. The template will automatically adjust it. So 5% in a retirement bucket, uh, sorry, sorry, emergency bucket, excuse me, uh, to handle unexpected expenses. There's an income bucket that has about 40, 45%. That will uh, provide inflation proof income for first 15 years. Then uh, during those 15 years, uh, the money will be in, uh, invested in a low risk bucket. This will have about 30% equity and 70% debt. And uh, after the uh, 15 years are over, money will be taken out from this and you will uh, generate income for next 10 years. Then for the first 25 years, there will be a, there will be investments made in a medium risk bucket that will provide income from year 27 to year 35. The medium risk bucket will have about 50% equity and 50% debt. Then uh, in the for the last stretch in retirement, um, you have about 35 years of investing. Uh, this will have 70% equity and 30% uh, uh, debt initially and after that you can adjust it. And uh, uh, this high risk bucket will uh, will be used, uh, will have about only 10-15% of uh, allocation, but it will be for the last 10 years in retirement. So this is the kind of rough strategy I have, high risk bucket, medium risk bucket, low risk bucket, income bucket. Allocations will change depending on when you want to retire and so on. And it is it has to be actively managed. That is not something you just forget, invest and forget. If there is a stock market boom, like what we saw last year, then you have to book some profit from the high risk bucket and put it in the medium risk bucket. Or if there's a crash, you can take some money here and put it there or vice versa. You can, among the buckets you have to, freely uh, you know in um, uh, you know shift around now i have a game this is a retirement bucket strategy simulator this is a game in excel you can play and find out uh, for a given amount of corpus how long your uh, um, corpus will last so if you keep clicking every year in retirement the returns will keep fluctuating uh, by using Monte Carlo uh, kind of simulations, basically a random number generator. And you can actually use this uh, game to uh, find out when your, how long your corpus will last. So for example, if you see here, uh, there are the corpus depletes very fast, the corpus depletes a little bit later, the corpus uh, lasts a little longer and so on. So these kind of simulations you can play around with this. This is a free tool you can have a, uh, 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 you know, go at it. So uh, now coming to the instruments, this is the question asked by Anil. So for the uh, income bucket, you can have pension, uh, but that's going to be your primary component. And in this pension, uh, ideally, my idea of pension is the whatever is my first year's ex uh, expenses, I should get as pension. After that inflation, I will handle elsewhere. Then you can have a fixed deposit ladder or a bond income ladder that is they will mature sequentially and you will be able to use that money for income or you can use it for appreciation in corpus value, post office schemes, PPF, money market mutual funds, liquid funds, arbitrage funds. If you had been building a stay equity portfolio for years and years, you would get dividends from it. So this, this is the income bucket. Now for the low risk bucket, medium risk bucket, high risk bucket, the, in, the products can be the same and you can simply use index funds and some uh, uh, simple debt funds to uh, build it. But uh, it's up to you. I mean, I, can, I have also given some hybrid options. I mean, hybrid fund options. So in addition to uh, direct equity, nifty or sensex index funds, you can use balance advantage funds, dynamic asset allocation funds. You can use them in the low risk bucket. You can use aggressive hybrid funds in the high risk, on the medium risk or high risk buckets. You can adjust the way you want. And uh, fixed income can be PPF, fixed deposits, money market, arbitrage, guilt funds for uh, medium term or uh, depending on your uh, risk appetite and your understanding, guilt funds can be used, corporate bond funds can be used, 
conservative hybrid funds like parak pare can be used in the uh, in any of the three buckets low risk medium risk or high risk depending on your comfort uh, level depending on that's where the experience and understanding of the product matters so uh, that's that's a simple way to build retirement buckets and those are the kind of products uh, that you can use in these buckets